Hi, I'm with Kailash, who's the CTO of Zeroda, and I welcome you here. And how are you liking the experience with Saya and Siphon? It's nice. I enjoy the conversation. Yeah. So your uh, topic was about is Gen AI for real? Yeah. So what do you think? Is generative AI for real? Is it just Chat GPT or what is happening right now? No, it's real. Full real class of technologies. I use it heavily personally. What do you use it for? What is your favorite tool? I use Claude. I use GPT four. All of those models. I use them as daily drivers for a lot of technical Q&A that I have. Okay. I practically stopped Googling, using Google for technical stuff. Yeah. I rely on these models and they save me a lot of time. What about perplexity? Have you used? I've tried it, but I wasn't yeah. a fan of the UX. So since your CTO and into coding, have you tried the latest models like Cursor and Claude? People are using those for coding a lot. So have you tried one of those? We think I've been using Claude and the latest GPT-40 derivatives and they've been doing a decent job for the stuff that I need done for code generation, for debugging, etc. I've just been relying on them. Work reasonably well for my needs. So I think since the last two months, ever since Claude is out and people are building apps on artifacts a lot, the conversation has become like everyone is not a developer. So basically <laughs> people can have natural language strong. What is your view on that? Is everyone a developer now? From a certain utilitarian perspective, yes, a lot of people can now generate automation and code and that's good. But can everybody be a developer? If everybody is a developer, then nobody is a developer. Good developers will continue to be good developers who will use these tools. What do you think the role of a developer or a software engineer would look like in five years? From in five years from now, it will look pretty much exactly the same. To build sophisticated systems, to build large scale systems, to understand human psychology, which is absolutely essential while building stuff for humans, you will still need human developers. But there's a whole class of developer jobs where you're not really building products or systems for scale. You're doing a lot of patchwork or maintenance work. I think there, there could be big dents there where these technologies negate the need for those patchwork tasks. People are saying that AI agents that are coming up, they are basically like interns at your company now. Do you think that is possible or is this a uh, conversation? I, w I wouldn't compare some of these models. I wouldn't draw a comparison with interns or internships. That's not fair or right. But some of these tools really help significantly. As I said, they become my daily drivers and I'm a seasoned developer. So when I get stuck, rather than spending 50 minutes on Google, I can rely on these things and probably get a solution in two minutes. Rather than bugging my colleagues where we sit together and discuss mind-numbing technology yeah. problems where you really get stuck, these things are helping. They have a real impact, but I wouldn't draw a comparison with interns in that sense. And so what about as is the adoption is going on right now when it comes to Gen AI? There are a lot of products going from POCs to products. Do you think the adoption is enough? Is the is the pace good enough when it comes to enterprises? Yeah, I can't comment on that. I don't even know if the adoption is legit or people are just hyped up. These things generally correct and settle down over a period of time. I'll just wait and see. And when it comes to India, so a lot of people are developing models that can be for Indic languages. Very few are, and they're maybe not at all as good as something like Lama. But do you think is it's important to build in something like Indian languages? It's important for decentralized innovation to try out all kinds of things. Try and build AI models that are very sensitive to local cultures and languages across the world. So when it comes to Zeroda, people sometimes start off talking about stocks and everything. Do you think there's a use of AI? Maybe there would be a store, your partner, AI partner, who can tell you this is the stock that you should invest in. Is that possible anytime in the future? I think that is physically non-viable because it's fundamentally non-viable. If everybody has an AI agent that tells them which stock to pick, then it's ineffective. Then everybody's picking the same stock. That's not how markets work. Yeah. Any advantage that anybody has once it's public gets factored into the prices. So it's fundamentally not possible to even have that. Yeah. What was the most exciting thing in the last three months that you found when it comes to Gen AI? A use case, a technology, anything? Mm. The rapid rise of open source models and their capabilities yeah. and their quality has been quite crazy. The newest Llama model that has come out, some of these newer models have been quite astounding. They're not GPT-4, they're largely specialized, but these things can now run on your phones. Every couple of weeks, there is a nice decentralized open source breakthrough. I've been generally surprised over and over by the pace of things coming out.